Barista Ogo? Yes, my ordinary president. Now you are assigned, make you be the lawyer to this yes, family. Sir. Because it is obvious they can't afford a lawyer. Yes, sir. Even a baby lawyer. Yes, That sir. is one year, <laughs> two year. Two years uh, in the job. Post call. Mm -hmm. So. Yes, sir. Our worker yesterday no be small thing, though. Mm. <coughs> From here, we. We're going to give her water. Give her water. Give her water. Carry water. Okay. Give her. Oh, you get your own water. Mwana. Thank you, man. We waka go meet the first PRO for command. Mm. That is the FCT police PRO. So we met with the deputy PRO. Mm. They say they're for meeting. But she later come in. I come they admire the lady. Fine, like that our. <coughs> well, Masa, that former first PRO. Hey, sir, ma Masa. Yes, sir. Mm. That one come beautiful, well, well. I can't they say if they go take me, self make I become police. You, ba? Yes, sir. You know, say uniform go fit me now. Uniform, ba? Yes, sir. Uniform? <laughs> yes, sir. Hey, you know, say. <laughs> no, she. They get maternity gown for, uh, as uniform. <laughs> uh -huh, continue. So. <laughs> As um, they attend to us very well, mm. they can't carry us go meet uh, the DC admin, mm. maybe Aja Hawa. Mm -hmm. That one, another wonderful person. <coughs> mm -hmm. So that one, he can't give us encouragement. Tell us, say, they're not go pay shishi as far as Nigeria police is concerned for the investigation, both autopsy and everything. He assured us, say, we go get justice. Please, let's appreciate the Nigerian police. <coughs> So oh, after everything, he comes, they can't contact the DPO who says on three. Okay. Where be uh, Adamum mm -hmm. They say now nah, under in jurisdiction, that thing happen. Mm. Say so, what thing go happen be say the, when the program was going on, mm. they don't contact the DPO, DPO. already. Say may start <coughs> investigation. Mm -hmm. So they don't already start investigation. They say make we go meet them. So that uh, these people go write statements, then then go transfer the matter to command immediately okay. with a case file from there. Thank you. So we waka go meet uh, Adamum was uh, we be the DPO who says on three. That mm. one another wonderful. Let's appreciate him. Let's appreciate. <coughs> so Excuse before me. we go to the place, they don't they wait for us. Mm. So the IPO where he give us don't they sit down there they wait on standby on standby. So he can't give them a note say make we enter mortuary. You know say. That police station have a common boundary with the with the Wuse General Hospital. The same where, a police station where we hear say allegedly they raise uh, um, what did they call police report? Yeah, police extract. A police extract middle of the night. Yes, and mm. I be the major reason why that Aja Hawa will be the DC admin for FCT Police Command. Say make we go there. Mm. Say then go find out who who write, uh, who write that police mm. why extract. Why write uh, Why write uh. So mm. the DPO say. He no know, but he, he go be their person. Say, make we find out. Make we start investigation from the hospital. Mm. So now that place, I call me and Ophi enter mortuary. Mm. I can't tell them, say, me, I go, go. Because it was around 2, 3 in the mm. afternoon. The, 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 the day don't go already. Yes, I tell them, say, I no go fee because <coughs> he, he get, me, I know the fee see that body. Uh, so they and, go continue you will, from there. Uh, and to join police, they hungry. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they got one department, uh, the body washing department. For police? Uh, they say they want create and be, they don't create them before. I, I, I know they sure with you at the But which of the department do you go like join? Nah, this one's where they there for road, where they control traffic. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> she won't cause accident. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Anyway, so. It was a good outing. It was a good <clears throat> outing. But immediately, self, as uh, we they enter mortuary, I they forget. They come out from mortuary. They say, they call the mortuary attendants. That one can't they pretend like, say, you know, sabi them. Mm -hmm. But immediately, the police officer come bring out an ID card, bring out uh, the notes where the DPO give up. Mm -hmm. uh, he can't call them aside, say. The same, uh, the same mortuary attendant. Thank you, sir. Where they say. I don't click them. Come and see. Mm -hmm. Now that time he can't know, say he can't agree, say the cops there for their hospital. Mm. So then check the 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 register, can't mm. see in name. Mm. So after everything, 
as they go finish, they come out, then went straight to that school with mm. the police officer. Mm. Because the police uh, IPO where they give us, in head they work. Mm. He say, if they say, made them write invitation to the school, it go waste a lot of time. Because so, then go say, made them uh, respond. Hey, hold on, dear. Yes, sir. My brothers, my sisters, when I looked on and I see the time done, they give us signal, signal to do things, signal make we continue to the van. Not. They go, Mama, talk to the mic. Sit down, ma. Mommy, sit down. Okay, hold the mic for her. Mama. Ah. Good morning, ma. Good morning, sir. Uh, una go police. Yes, sir. Since where this thing happened, reached yesterday, <clears throat> excuse me, which one? give you rest of mind i don't this one give me rest of mind this I one where when i go police where we go yesterday I, as they attend to now yes sir. let's appreciate the nigerian police okay um my brother sir good morning sir morning wait him be your name again my name is daniel agocha sir now he be the junior brother to the person we die yes sir this uh, immediate junior younger brother be no he senior like two persons before he you yes. and he died leave how many children two children sir. two children how it be you as soon as go force headquarters uh, command headquarters yesterday really i really appreciate them the way they are doing i see it, really there is people that is got sent mm. among them so now the first time we people will show on a genuine concern since we when I lose on a brother be this yes sir okay okay we go continue when i remember say yesterday we tried to reach the owner of the school first of all when we call outside because i've been no one made this matter come on radio now matter where i've been they convinced say if you will reach the school tell them who we be we are we from the talk see the allegation we did for ground they go call the school management say what maybe the owner of the school now they are aware or maybe the information we didn't give them now half done that time they go investigate and then they go find out waiting be the true story behind the death unfortunately the first attempt in the ring, nobody pick. The second attempt, somebody pick. He said, this is the representative. At that early hour, even President P.A. know they pick call on behalf of President around certain times. We waste a bit time, big man. He get time where you go call him. Now big man by and say, hello, hello. You don't, you, you, that time, P.A., A.P., C.P., Everybody don't walk out go. Now him. If he promise you, you know, say, now nah, him promise you with him out. That was no work. We call again, you know, work. The next time where we call, we get luck, get the owner of the school. Come, make we discuss this matter. He say, no good, they available. You see, no. We don't know how important that journey day for him. But something we fit stain your name. You know, fit prioritize, make you check. This one, where they go? No be allegation I did try to go clean myself off from. This one, they say person die, and people they suspect saying I reach you and you carry the person do. Why can't you spare a few minutes? Anyways, I'm not trying to be judgmental. But if to say now me, now waiting I for do be that. I for cancel the journey. Show face. If na flight, shift the flight. Make the people see, say the, I make this frantic effort. See when well, I suppose move. But I don't shift them. Make when I try understand. Now human beings will be. This kind of allegation can fall on anybody's head. Person feet fall for gate here die. They go to say now nah, we kill him. Now nah, ordinary kill him. Do, do and carry and do ritual. It's up to me now to prove to the rest of the world that I did not kill this person. But you see, you get where person they get money rich. Person they get connection rich. 
person exposure they carry and reach, he go just too full of himself. Say nothing can happen. I did not do. I did not do, and nothing can happen. <laughs> this world. You get one musician where he talk, nothing they happen. Nothing they happen. When I remember a name. Eh? Two phase. When something happened to Ram, he know say something happened. But thank God we hear say the, the respondent, even though the direct owner of the school no day for studio, they say in wife. And other people there for studio. We go try, make we hear them. If last say on the struggle with the Twitter, carry the laptop now. If you go, okay. He still never come. So my brothers, my sisters, we go hear from them. Uh, Kelechi, because um, get me some seats. Uh, like two. Make we help quickly. Make we get. Uh, make we get. Um, if I borrow all that, your chair. You know, you're in a family, you be. Oh, okay. Put on there. Thank you. No, bring the one way down, break. Oh. Put on there. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Yes, uh, the respondent, if they don't come, Mama, shift will be no. Mm-hmm. Yes. Madam, now only you come. Sit down for that one. Yeah? Give her the microphone. Good morning, sir. Morning, ma. Okay. Other people follow her. Yes, well, <clears> six of those. Okay, about six. Okay, others go stand now. She be now men them be. Now only when woman there amongst them we go look for seat, but the men can stand. This one young where we self. Uh huh. Okay, madam. Good him, morning, sir. Morning, ma. Wait him be your name, ma. My name is Mrs. Uzo Obata, and I am the proprietress, the owner of the Kazich school. Okay, now you be the owner. I am the owner. Okay. Mr. Tony Obata is my husband. Okay. Okay, so first of all, I'd like to thank you for giving us this opportunity, for being considerate and fair to mm. hear both sides of the story before taking any, you know, passing any judgment. Mm. My goodness, I'm overwhelmed with the stories I've heard. I couldn't believe, really, this was what happened. Mm. Um, on the 20, I employed Mr. Vincent Agocha as my driver in January 2022. And um, from day one, he always complained of BP. Everybody, even the school janitor is here. The, my security man, this is my admin, my head of school. Everybody is here. And they can testify to that. So he always complained of high blood pressure. In fact, on one occasion when he drove me personally, because my car was bad, so he picked me up with the school bus, personally. He was complaining to me about money for his drugs, no drugs, that, his, that the high blood pressure was induced because of his wife that, um, he said when he was having hardship, the wife got pregnant for someone else, he divorced her, collected the children, gave the mother, she's been raising the kids. Things are so bad for him, he said all sorts of things, and I always supported him with whatever I could. He even, uh, because of the complaints, you know, when you get um, staff from agents, you pay the agent 50% and you, you give 50% to the staff for the first salary. Mm. That one is a known fact. Because of his complaints, <coughs> I didn't even give the agent the 50%. I paid him everything just to keep encouraging him. So that was that. Now, 21st of April, 2022, I was sleeping. We were at home sleeping. I got a call from, this is my admin, Mustafa. He stays in Suleja. Suleja is far, so he stays in the school. Again, let me not forget to mention the fact that this driver, he says he stays in Kurudu. Because of all his financial problems, he said, Madam, please, can I be staying in this school? If I come and go every day, the transportation cost and all that, and I might not meet up early enough to pick the children and go to school. Well, I considered it, and maybe that was the biggest mistake of my life. 
So I agreed, and I said it's fine, but it has turned out to be the biggest mistake of my life. On 21st of April, around 1 a.m., my staff, Mustafa, called me. I was scared, 1 a.m., why are you calling me by 1 a.m.? Okay, so I was scared, 1 a.m., why are you calling? Thankfully, I'm a light sleeper, so I picked the call, what is it, what is it? Mustafa was wailing that, uh -uh, he doesn't know what is happening, you know. Vincent is on the floor, he's, he's coughing, coughing, coughing uncontrollably. And then they said, I wasn't there, I was at home. So he and this driver, this um, security man, they said, well, coffee, he was saying, oh God, help me, my drugs, my drugs. They will say better, they were there when it happened. They ran to the school bus. They ran to the bus to get his drugs. Hold this for me. See what they found. So this is what they found, empty packet, empty packet of drugs. Look at it, mm. empty in mm. the school bus. Mm. Now, the family had said earlier, well, you know, I'm, I'm jumping, I'm going to come back to that. The family had said earlier, their elder brother, mm. that no, their son, that he was always buying all his BP drugs. He was buying one month supply. The boy never ran out of drugs. On the contrary, the mom said, no, my son does not have any BP. The BP stopped since. God healed him. Nothing is wrong with my son. But, sir, look at what we found. When empty drugs. The janitor is there to tell you how he was complaining that day. Oh, his body is doing him like this. The body is doing him like that. She even, because she had worked in a pharmacy before. So she even suggested, what drugs do you take? Let me go and H medic. This is our school. This is H medics. He refused. He said, please, that he's healed. Now, that fateful night, when he started foaming in the mouth, Mustafa, mm. he was convulsing when that thing was happening to him. Mustafa then took a spoon, put him between the mouth. They said they put oil. I wasn't there. They will testify to that. Um, when he got serious, they called out the neighbors on the street, carried him, put him in the school bus, took him to, there's a Limi hospital across the road from our school. That was the nearest hospital. They took him there. On getting to Limi hospital, Limi hospital rejected him told them to take him to somewhere in area 11, which was too far away. They rushed him to Metama Hospital, which is like 10 minutes from our school. On getting there, he was declared dead on arrival. Metama Hospital did not take the body. They said their, mo their mortuary was full. They referred them to um, Use General Hospital. Sir, in all this, Mustafa kept calling his brother. First of all, coincidentally, the day before, our school had some electrical problems. So we called, uh, our, our school electri uh, electrician was out of town. So we couldn't reach him. We, he said, no, that he's far, he can't make it. That driver now came and said, oh, I know a very good Nepa electrician. That is his relative, he's his cousin. Sir, it turned out to be this his brother. Same mother, same father. But what he told us, no, one of his cousins, that he can do the job for us. In our desperation, we said, okay, come, 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 call the guy, let him come and do the work. So he fixed the main building of the school, but the bungalow side, still there was no light. But since that bungalow side was not in use, we said, no problems, let's manage this side till our own electrician comes. Mm -hmm. So that was how we were able to get his number. Otherwise, that night, there was nobody we would have called, you know, no relative, because his only relative we had was his guarantor, and his file was in the school. Hold this one. Now, um, he said that um, we, de we didn't call him. These are the call logs. Okay, the first call was made at um, 1.34 a.m. He didn't pick. So the call logs are here. Okay. <clears throat> and my staff called me around past one. I, t I said it before this. So that's when I woke up, you know. Now, the second call again, 1.31 a.m., outgoing call. He didn't pick. Obviously, he was sleeping. It's understandable at that time of the night. This is another call again, 3.02 a.m. Sir, in the middle of all this, he was running around with a cops, trying to get, you know, either settled in a Metama hospital or Wuse General Hospital. I woke my husband from sleep by that one a.m. I said, see what is happening, you know. My husband left the house at that time or that with my personal driver, he's also here. Drove straight to Wuse General Hospital to meet them. On getting there, the, meanwhile, Mustafa and the security man, they had driven there and met, so they all met at Wuse General Hospital. On getting there, their protocol, there was a policeman signing them in. Eventually, they brought um, a doctor, I think a female doctor, 
to check the body, every, examine the body. This, by this time, it was getting to like 4 a.m. Eventually, they took the body. Sir, they told my husband, Oga, the, according to my husband, the exact words of the guy. He said, Oga, you have to pay 30,000 naira, 20,000 naira for hospital fees, 10,000 naira for embalmment, and then when you're coming to carry the body, you will pay 7,000 and bring a cloth, and then um, to 2,000 every day that the body is in the morgue. And out of, uh, 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 you know, being magnanimous... Oga, hold the mic properly for her. No, you can use your right hand, Oga. Thank you. Uh -huh. Let me just hold Okay. Out of being magnanimous, my husband paid the 30,000 naira, innocently and ignorantly. We never asked anybody to embalm anybody, any, any corpse. He thought, okay, this is a standard procedure to be able to admit a body, a, a, a dead body, sorry. So he paid the 30,000 naira. Let's get, at least let's get this one out of the way for the family. And then they now collected the body and put in the morgue. Uh, this was around 4, 4.30. My husband got home around to 5, even. We didn't sleep that night. My son didn't even go to school that day because we're all awake till 5. <clears throat> I took my bath around 6. Before 8, I was in the school. As I was getting to the school, I saw the mom, him, he, his sister, two other guys that I knew were not related to them because they looked quite different. As, just as I was driving in, they were outside. So I told my driver, drop me, let me come outside and meet them. I came outside. Obviously, the mother hadn't been told. This is an elderly woman. I don't just walk up to her and say, this, I, I have to be careful, you know, to manage her and know whether she's been told or not. But he had been told because from the call logs, he called him not more than five times, so he eventually picked the call. As we came outside, of course, the mother was rolling on the floor, which is normal. I, we, we, we felt pity. We felt bad. We are human beings. Um, the, he and the other guys, they said that they want to see the body of their brother, that whoever it was that took him to the morgue, they needed to see them, to take them to that morgue. Fine. I called my husband. He was one who took them to the morgue in the middle of the night. My husband, Mustafa, and this will be now the security. Middle man. of the night. My husband went to the mortuary around 1 a.m. or 1.30 a.m. To go and show them? No, 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 okay, no, 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 Okay, no, no. okay, okay. He was the one, okay. He was the one with Musa who deposited the body. Mm -hmm. So when this issue came up around 8.39... In the morning. In the morning, I called my husband again. I said, listen, no, they said the person that took the body should come and take them there. My husband said, no problems. Mustafa and this Obina, they went from the school in Wuse to... My husband from Katampe went and met up with them in Wuse General Hospital by that 8 to 9 a.m. Mustafa got there first. This guy, is, as soon as they saw the body, he started brutalizing him, beating, tore his clothes. Uh -uh. Right as that was happening, see my husband arriving. My husband saw all the ruckus going on. Quickly, this is, Metama, this is a Wuse general. There's a police station there. The proper thing to do, he ran to the police. See what is happening. They gave him, the policemen said, there's even no time to start writing report. Let's go. They took handcuffs, got there. Sir, we never, ever got any police extra. If they did, please, they should present it. We, can, we, say general, we say police station is there, they should present it. Never. Never. The only involvement with the police was when they were brutalizing him. My husband got two policemen. They came with handcuffs. He denied not touching Mustafa in the police station. But yesterday he said he touched Mustafa. So they settled the situation in the, in the hospital. The family promised that they would see us in the school. This was on the 21st of April. 25th of April was a Monday. They came. Came into the school. Sir, this is a school. We have children, one year to, we have children. This is our primary responsibility to protect these children. While we sympathize with the dead, I mean, I couldn't sleep. I could, I, I, it, it affected me a lot, the death of my staff. And even if that staff didn't die, you know, even if Within he didn't spend, mm. yes, even if he died in Sokoto, I would have still taken responsibility. They are my staff. And I loved him. Unfortunately, the dead cannot speak. So they came in, uh, uh, barged into the school. Admin said, please, wait outside. Because when they came, I was even inside with the children. I was having an assembly, a mini assembly, with the children. Admin said, please, wait outside. And they got offended. They said, um, well, I can't. he will say his own part anyway. So to avoid problems, and they came with like two elderly men. 
So in all that, my, my head of school there quickly sent my driver to go. And this is my mother, barrister Mrs. Sufere. That's the barrister they said we called for them. Oh, that's my mom. So my mom, when this was, she was also with one of her learned colleagues. So my driver picked two of them. They came because these people came with two elderly people. I can't handle them. My mother is here. So they brought two elderly people too. She is elderly yes. too. So, so elders talk to elders. Thank you. So we evacuated this bungalow site so that the children will not... Sir, I have children to protect. Children that have been entrusted in my hands. I wouldn't want to... It, it, you know, psychologically, it's not good for the children. So we evacuated the bungalow section and put them there. We had a two-hour meeting. In that meeting, they were making all kinds of insinuations. How we put, good, the Indomie issue, sir. This driver at Indomie, Meshai, what do you call it? Meshaya. Outside the school. Meshai. Meshai, sorry. Mm -hmm. It is his usual joint. Sir, the Meshai is there, he can be contacted. No Indomie was cooked in my school. Nobody ate Indomie in my school. He went with this uh, security man. This one said, that money you're going to use and give me Indomie. Give me, let me buy, buy palm wine and drink. Nobody ate Indomie in our school. So that's, that's a part of the Indomie. Um, so after the meeting with the family in the school, we, we, we talked and talked and talked. Made, they made all kinds of accusations. The two elders went outside. When they spoke to each other for a few minutes, they came back and said, okay, uh, madam, what has happened has happened. Now, uh, the burial, uh, what are you going to give us? What are you going to do for the burial? You understand? And my, my reaction was, you see, even without asking me, this is my staff. You don't need to even ask me what I'm going to do for burial without being told. You know, we as a school will step in and do the much we can do. Instead of all these, we even said, can we do an autopsy? They didn't even want to hear that one. <clears throat> I mean, if you're sober, that should be the first thing you would jump Mommy, at. Mommy, don't go suffocate yourself. At your age, you don't need the face mask. Be on, no, no. <laughs> Just leave and make you breathe well. Uh -huh, continue. Sorry for interrupting you. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, so we, I said, I would do, I mean, he's my staff. You don't even need to tell me. They said, okay, what can you give us? You know what we told them? My mom and the, her learned colleague she came with, they said, go and bring us the breakdown. So this guy is here. If we are lying, he should say, give us the breakdown, what and what it entails to do this um, the burial. Then as a school, we'll know which areas we can help out with. They said, okay, this was 25th of April. They said, we'll get back, and it was a Monday. They said, we'll get back to you before the end of the week. So the week ended, we never heard from them. Bring the guarantors is there. We started calling them. Let me show you the number of the guarantor. His elder brother. This is it. This is their elder brother. This is the number he Show the to. camera. Um. This is his ID card. That's the number. Sir, as I'm talking to you now, that number is switched off. We called and called. Because he was at the meeting, and he was quite level-headed. But then again, they said he had a malaria and typhoid that day. Maybe that was why. So we felt, as an older person, this is someone we could talk with. Because he was very aggressive about it. That's because, this one. Yes. Mm. He's the one that beat up Musta. <clears throat> yeah. But, you know, mixed feelings. They lost someone. Mm. I can understand. Mm. One can react anyhow. So that um, guy, we called and called. It was switched off. Now, we said, let's call him. And so I have the call logs, too, for everything. We said, let's call him. We called him with the school line that he didn't have. He picked. Immediately, we introduced ourselves. He said, oh, I'm on top of Transformer. I'm working now. I'll call you when I come down. That was it till now. Next thing we heard was, break it there. Told all kinds of, like, if they said we did police extra, where is it? Let's go to Wuse Police. Nothing. Indomie. No so I've been in shock. When all the things I've been here, I'm like, what? Okay. Are you done, madam? Yes, sir. That's basically it. So the people who were eyewitnesses to what happened can speak. Okay. Um, the security man, collect microphone from madam. Wait him be your name. Okay. I'm Monday Naman, Vanessa. Monday Naman. Yes, sir. How close you and uh, late uh, huh? Vincent, Vincent Day for that school? Okay, I'm the security of the school, sir. 
How close you and Amde, apart from work? We just met ourselves in the school there. But we are, we are good friends. Mm -hmm. And then that day where Vincent died. Now you and Amde, Abi? Yes, sir. According to the junior brother here, he talks, say, now together, we now go either buy the Indomie, Abi cook the Indomie. Yes, then sir. at the 11th minute, 11th hour, you can't talk, say, you no go chop the Indomie, make you give you money. You can't make with a suspect, saying, are you poisoner? Yes. Tell us what thing you know. Okay, sir. Uh, that very day, mm. he go buy fuel, can't come back. Mm. So when he can't come so back, so no be you and I'm follow go. No, he go buy fuel first. Only him. Uh, mm -hmm. So I see him go buy the fuel, he can't come. Mm. So he come with me, cause he make a escort and make go eat. So I come follow and go to me a shy place. Mm -hmm. Cause he made them do do me a help for me. I come tell I say me I do already, mm. I do already eat. Mm. So the money when go give me my buy into me, me give me my and buy. And me. Okay. You can't give me two hundred. So not be inside the school when I cook him. No, not be inside the school. Mm -hmm. Just continue. So you can't give me two hundred naira. I can't go where they sell it for me. You can't do for the shy place. I can't buy the for me. You can't eat finishing. You can't call me. So me and him can't follow. Around which time be that? Let me say something. Eleven. In the morning. No, in the night. Oh, okay, Tom. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So me and him can't follow condom because it's mm -hmm. They always sleep for food. While me are they sleep for. Uh, reception. Mm. So that they are sitting on phone, I know can sleep for feud. You can sleep for reception. Mm. In the grammy are there on top of a uh, cushion. Mm -hmm. So in can they play Christian music because I play Christian music. Mm. For me, sleep they already carry me. The next thing I say I didn't mean rush come. You did the sleep person that I said I say I better leave me my sleep, my sleep. So I don't know say the thing was like that. Mm. So yeah, I didn't mean come down side. I can't still go to sleep. Ah, when I see I mean don't serious, now I can't come outside. I can't see him. Me and Admin tried to rush him to one hospital or near that place. As with the car, I come on forget, going too heavy. Mm. In too heavy. Mm. So unfortunately, he can't fall. He can't come out full for mouth. So Admin can't rush, can't go bring oil and spoon, can't put him. Gri, gri, gri. Now Admin can say, since I sabi drive, my rush going to table, go carry the school bus. Moku move. Mm. Carry the school bus key. Uh, for the mm. table. Mm -hmm. They are going to rush carry the school bus uh, key for the table. I can't drive. We we'll go to one hospital. The doctors come. They look, look. They call the first to another place. I say, all this place when I call. No, no. In court time, say, let's go in. No. We we'll can't go to that place. Immediately, we we'll reach there. Two doctors just come. When they come now, now one can't touch them. I see touch them. Now I can't ask and say, what do you know they do like this? So, now this one, my can't depart. I say, no, no. Now that doctor can't shake head. As that doctor can't shake head. He just touch him, he concludes, say he don't die. Uh, as he <laughs> touch him, he can't conclude, say he don't die. Hmm. Uh, when he can't conclude, he can't shake head. We never still move, we still dead. Which hospital be that? Metama Hospital. <laughs> so when they can't shake head. Now, so then they confirm person, don't, he just touch person, he say person don't die. <clears throat> oh, I talk to the man. Get this thing that they put for here. Mm. So now he put and compress something for him, chest. Stethoscope. Mm. So, Mm. Now the man can say don't die. Say mo ku find mortuary put him. Huh? By then this one don't they control madam they control Ogaden. Okay, if they call madam, if they call Oga. Yeah. Uh, Be, for people who don't understand control, control now to uh, to call people. You understand? Uh, uh, make I control uh, barrister Oga. No be no more control now. Control or uh, say I. Phone call, nine be control, uh, continue. Okay, unfortunately, now the mortuary attendant are going to say they are on the phone. Mm. We can't come and come, we say General Hospital. Mm. When we can't come there, now we take for there. Now one woman knows, can't come outside. She can't put that thing. She can't say, you don't die. Unfortunately, we can't stay there before the husband and her own driver can't come. Mm. That so is a uh, madam husband. Uh, and the, the driver can't come. So they can't enter one place. Now, I don't know what thing they, they talk with the doctors and mm, this thing. Mm. So later on, they can't come. So the mortuary people, after they don't finish everything, we can't carry it and go mortuary. The mortuary people can say, me the man pay 30,000 naira. You did it here when it... Uh, when me, it I did. Now, for the mortuary, they say, me they pay 30,000 naira for the hospital and environment, and 7,000 naira if they won't come carry them. Mm. And every day when they sleep, they're going to pay 2,000 naira. Mm. So we can't carry them, keep them for... That stretcher. Mm -hmm. We can't push them. Enter inside. We will not follow the entire mm -hmm. inside. Mm -hmm. We can't come. In the morning, because 
the law of the school is that if you are a stranger, you remain outside until the admin or the madam give you order to come inside. Mm. So unfortunately, I was there to go and pump water. I don't know when the cleaner don't go outside. The gate was mm -hmm. open. So when I can't come now, I can't see these people inside. So when I can't see these people inside, now, I agreed. I don't know what to talk again. Mm, because you don't already do a mistake uh, already. The elderly mm. people come out. I don't know what to talk to them. And the children was inside uh, the assembly ground. Then the admin come and say, please, they should wait outside. That's time to tell them to wait mm. outside. So when I came now, I don't know what to talk. Mm. And I called this one, I said, Brosco, I didn't mean someone I wait outside. He mm. said, no, I should not talk to him. That I should talk to the other people. Elderly people. Yes. Mm. So me, I don't know what to do. I just go meet the man and say, sir, I beg you. They say you people should wait outside. Then after the assembly, you come outside. The man said, well, you don't already deliver your own message. That you are not going outside. Mm. I can't say, for sure. I don't talk anything. They can't finish, giri, giri, giri. We can't come hospital. That's after the appearance can't come. Said they want to see the dead body of the guy. All of us constantly drive again. Go the place. So when we go there, because we this are in the place. Mortuary. We, we, which mortuary? We say, we say. Mm. Because this one no game man to enter mortuary. Who? The, the admin. admin. Uh, no game man to enter the mortuary. Mm. So when the, we can't wait for the mortuary attendance. So this mama, the never thing tell us said it. We just make sure that make no friend for that place. Mm. So the mature attendant can't come. Now when they come, they can't open the place. The chemical where there is much. But I have to just in the other mm, end. Mm. When I go and I can't see them put something like a gallon. Or I don't know what in the Nicola. The next thing, this one come outside. Here and this one start to the crap. Before you know, this one rush this one. Gri -gri -gri for the mortuary place. Unfortunately, mm. my damn husband, been there road, they come. Mm -hmm. So when he can't reach gate, now I can't see the way the fire happened. Because police station then near there. So he can go police station, can go report. Say me they can hang up two of them, carry them go station. So when they can come now, the security people are in for the hospital. They push them, make them go outside, go fight. Mm. Say me they no fight for her because of patient. Mm. So now both the civil defense all milk my contact and more than go outside. Make them no fight there because of patient. Uh -huh. That is dead body. They like no, they like noise because not be much worry you now. No, they don't come up from the mortuary. Oh, okay, yeah, because. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. Oh, uh, okay. Mm -hmm. mm. So now, what thing happened with that? Well, you know. Why not? Thank you. Please, let's appreciate the security man. <laughs> now, Mustafa Admin, collect microphone. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, sir. So, at uh, Wednesday, that's uh, when we resumed school, as at uh, around 6, I saw the security man. He was washing that little Vincent's clothes. As what happened when they wash Vincent's clothes, he said, we'll send a complaint of headache. So he said, maybe if I wash the clothes and go away for the next day. I said, okay, no problems. Then Vincent now, he came, he said, how far must have I said, fine. Hold, hold, hold it there. Where is the second mic? Give um, the security man. For how long you don't they wash Vincent's clothes? In the wash man, they wash you. Oh, okay. Uh, now I make... When I want to start the talk with you, I ask you how close you and I have been there. You remember? Yes. So friendship will reach, make I wash your clothes, make you wash my clothes. You know, say, na aruba, aruba. Mm -hmm, continue. So he said, say, he said, me feel a day. So mm. help him to wash the clothes. I said, okay, no problems. Then he said, now came to me. Now said, Mustafa, we need fuel for Bosso. I said, why not tell me this thing early so that I will prepare and move get him? Then I, I can't send my mother a message now. So my mother can't say, okay, she'll send money. Then I, I, around after seven, when she sent me money, I, I, can't say, I can't ask this guy, I say, where is Vincent? They say, Vincent, they inside. I can't enter inside, I see Vincent like that for in, where, in white regalia when they take sleep. I say, Vincent, you can't say they sleep at this hotel. When you say, no, you just get tired. I give him my ATM card to go buy fuel. He go buy fuel, come back. Then I, around that uh, uh, nine o'clock, or there, but me, I enter inside, I go sleep. Then rain come begin for, I come outside. It was uh, around 11 or so. I go check gates, gates. They no, they, they no lock gates. They no lock gates at all. And, and I said, okay, I check inside. I don't see this guy. I don't see Vincent. I said, maybe they, they don't go as I go eat. Then I slept. Then about 12 midnight, after 12 to 1, I begin here cough. I come aside. Vincent said that he no wear shirt. Only one of him black shirt now wear in the cough. What's happened? He's in the cough. In chest, they hook up. 
I gave him water, I drank, the, the thing came down a bit. Then I, I went back to sleep. I told him, I said, take the water and then breathe in and breathe out. You'll be okay. I went inside to sleep. Then after for some minutes again, I started hearing another cough. I came outside. By the time I came outside, he was already naked. He don't already shit for body. Yes, he don't already shit for body. That was when I ran, I called this guy security. I said, Monday, something happened for this too. This one I said, don't sleep, go. He don't already sleep, go. I had to start hitting him, hitting him. We came outside, I don't go meet him. I said, what happened? He said, no, he breathes, in chest don't hook. I said, what you go do, what you go do? He said, go check boss, carry my drugs, give me. I, I ran inside, I carry key. Who talks and make you go bring it? Vincent, he's saying yeah. drugs. I ran inside, I carry the, car, the boss key, I open. He said, when they say, I check by the side of the, that the, the, that the car door. I open the car door, carry drugs. I op drugs was empty. Mm. There was nothing inside. Dr the drugs was, it was completely empty. Mm. And I said, okay, what's the next step? I said, okay, let me rush to H Medis to get these drugs for him to take. But by then, this guy was already dis the, like confused. He said, just the walk around, walk around. But then, was already pouring water. When she thought, still wearing in short. I said, no, this one will be something of everything. This one will do. I can say, okay, more carry on, work on now. Maybe more just carry on this diet, maybe it's for them. If he does take everything, this guy she put on for shoulder. We were supporting him. We we'll carry on, go outside. We took him outside now. We kept. I said, no, this guy is too heavy. No, if he carry on. No, as soon as they carry on, go. Yes. He fall for. He fall. By then, never fall. Okay. Never fall. Yeah. As we reach outside, I said, no, this guy is too heavy. No, if he carry on. Because he done the week. And as you, uh, the, the more it was getting weak, it was the heavy. So we know if he carry him. I can't say what you go do now. At that moment, that guy come for from my hand. We know if he jack and move. I say, okay, what you go do? I seen four, he can't begin converse. This one can't hold him. Say, my I don't go carry oil. I carry oil and spoon. We to put for him out. We put that, we can't put that spoon. We say, and I say, okay, rush, carry boss. As they bring the boss, make a wake neighbors. As they carry the boss, I go wake other security guys with the, the, the two Within people. the neighborhood. Yes, I wake them. Now then come still help us drag this guy, put his time to still follow us, reach Limi Hospital there. So when we got to that hospital now, they carried their stethoscope. They were checking. They were checking. They refused to like put him inside the hospital. Mm -hmm. Yes. They were checking. Yeah. After everything, they now said we should take him to cardiac hospital in area eleven. I said area eleven too far and I don't know that side. Let's just drive to Metama Hospital. <coughs> but by the time mm. we got to Metama Hospital, they checked him. I was I said, why are you guys checking? You guys should just do something mm, fast now. Mm. What, what the nurse now said to me, say, why, Mr. Ma, what are you shouting about? You, you, you already brought, brought like a, a dead man here. He's already dead. So I was, <laughs> as, and I said, yes. They said he was already dead. Me, myself, I was confused. You know, say, for 